How are you? Nothing. Good looking at you, ma'am. Nothing. Hello, officer. Nothing. It's a crazy city. I'm enjoying it, though. It's very exciting. A lot of options here. A lot of options in Liberty City. You can get whatever you want. You like pussy? Of course you do. <laughs> it's here. In Liberty City, some of the best I've ever had. <laughs> I'll tell you that. You know pussy's good when, you, when you're inside of it and you're thinking about other things other than sex. Like things <laughs> like, wow. Wow. I love gingerbread cookies. <laughs> when you're thinking that in the pussy, that's when you know it's good shit. The best weed in the world, maybe right here in Liberty City. I was so high earlier today, I had a complete discussion with myself in the mirror. <laughs> threatening, threatening. I couldn't believe I'd snuck up on you like that, and I was furious about it. You ever had weed so good that you get stuck? You know, stuck. Stuck like when you need to leave, you want to leave, you got to leave, but you can't fucking go. Stuck. That's what you find here in Liberty City. You've got everything. The greatest basketball team. Who's fucking with the Liberty City Warriors? It's crazy. I remember there used to be a guy who played as good as the guy you guys got, but he didn't want to pass the ball. He never passed the ball. And so the rest of the team was just up and down. Just They were physically fit, but never scored any points. This selfish bastard. They're just chasing him down the court. Just... I'm open. Nothing. Nothing. Liberty City's got a, a team made out of warriors. You need that. You need the strong... You need a strong team. You, have, you gotta be strong anyway. This is a weak world. You come to Liberty City, you can get strong in this weak world. I know it's weak. I started out weak. I wasn't always tall like this, but <laughs> used to be short. A lot going on when you're short. People lie to you. My parents looked me directly in the eyes and told me, out of a shadow of a doubt, eat all your vegetables, drink your milk, you'll grow up big and tall. Lying son of a bitch. You know how many vegetables I ate? Hmm? Any idea? How much milk I consumed? I should be the size of a cow. Why am I not the size of a cow? I drank the same thing the fucking cow drank. Still short. You know I was short because I, I, I wore one pair of jeans probably five years through school. Five. And you could tell how old I was because of the ring where I would cuff it and then let the cut out. <laughs> quarter of an inch. I grew a quarter of an inch and I'd let it out and there'd be that other line. And then, yeah, I'm not depressed. I'm just saying. If you got short kids at home, go home and kiss them because it's terrible. Thank you. Good night. It's coming back to Weasel. Another season of the Weasel history drama, Homo Erectus. Science meets forbidden love. Only on Weasel. 80 sitcom star and a passenger are paralyzed in what police say is part of a reality show. We're live on the scene. You just can't help getting sucked in on the way down. The number one rated reality show is coming back for another season. Waning with the Stars, the show where we follow formerly big celebrities on their way down. See ordinary contestants paired with Death Wish drug-addled celebrities to see who hits the skids first and how far they slide. Remember Sharice McCormick? She was on the most popular sitcom of the 80s. Now she's on a serious bender, reduced to shooting skin flicks for crack. And you'll see contestants try to keep up as they freebase, get into high-speed chases, and surf internet porn with 80s professional wrestler, The Grinder. Five contestants, one fading dream, a ton of alcohol and drug abuse. Enjoy watching once smug celebrities who have hit rock bottom stay there. Waning with the Stars, a new season coming soon on Weasel. The show for men by men. In the men's room with Baz and Jeremy. Is anyone in there? I right, go away, I'll push you in the freaking liver. Excuse me, the men's room. fans, it's coming. Saturdays, don't miss the Patriot 500 live from Patriot Beer Motor Speedway. It's edge of your seat excitement as rednecks drive in a circle 500 times. 
Welcome to I'm Rich, the show that puts avarice firmly on the national agenda as we zealously and emphatically discuss things rich people have. You'll never afford, and anyone with good taste would never want. In this week's show, we've got tray rich people who inherited truckloads of money and spend it ostentatiously. We've got flashy criminals who bribed congressmen to be allowed to live as they want and get plump business contracts. And we'll get down and dirty with fab politicians who siphoned off 50% of the gross domestic product of poor countries to buy speedboats, servants, snakeskin sofas, and incredible surround sound sanitariums. Plus, we've got Liberty City's most vacuous debutante cokeheads going head-to-head -head and giving it in a race to see who can visit the most STD clinics and rehabs. It's glamour, guts, and really gross greed. From diamond-encrusted glory holes to the proper pronunciation of Ibiza or Ibiza. We've got a full half hour of gawking at the possessions of rich people and thinking, that should so be me. Why am I a vapid waste of a human being? Maybe I'll blow my brains out during commercials. All because you're not on I'm Rich. First up, Chloe Parker. If you don't know who she is, you're a pop culture retard, and that's deadly serious. This 24-year-old sometime felcher, an heiress to a magnastronomosity of a fortune to the tune of $950 billion. She's one seriously hot number. She's got fake tits stuffed with rubies as well. It's luxury plastic surgery taken to a whole new level. Now, to fill up time, a person is going to repeat what I just said in a different way while we watch the same footage again. Chloe Parker is 24 years old and really hot. She's worth a lot of money and is totally vapid. She's had a lot of plastic surgery, but otherwise is devoid of meaning. She's rich. She's got it all, and money is everything. She has a daddy, money, and one of those tiny little dogs that rich people keep in their vagina. I want one of those so badly. Woof, woof. So you think your daddy is nice? Chloe Parker went from tycoon tot to tycoon twat. She lived in this mega mansion her daddy bought for her after her first period. And when Pop is back in Colombia managing the family's produce importing company, she's out at the Caraways. Fantabulous. Party in Paris and finger blast in Florence. Her amazing mansion has an underwater home theater with midget mermaids, jumbo jet garages, and a 600-foot yacht that costs three million a day just to run. Her penthouse in Algonquin's exclusive Middle Park East District is a little palace in the sky, complete with a moat and drawbridge, torture dungeon, and servants with scurvy, all on the 55th floor. This is real estate the rest of us can only watch on television and masturbate over. I'm masturbating right now, furiously. Now, Chloe is best friends with Jill Von Krastenberg. This all fall terrible has been ruling Liberty City's nightlife for the past two Two years since her 11th birthday her daddy gave her a pair of diamond miners for her 12th birthday and after she could walk again sent her to 15 of the most exclusive boarding schools all at the same time and got her a treehouse with servants plus she's got a flying rabbit money omnipotence when you're this amazing the laws of nature just don't apply your life is like a soda commercial where everything is extreme Look at this house. That's what it takes to make a splash in the ultra-competitive world of being the kid of rich parents who don't pay any taxes. The Von Krastenbergs are among the richest people in the world, apart from morally, where they're entirely destined. just like the producers of this show. But look at how many sports cars Chloe has. Rumor has it this deliciously defecating debutante screams daddy while doing the dirty deed rotisserie style. They live most of the year in Liberty City at this sumptuous mansion, but pay no taxes because they claim to practice their religion inside their home, taking it off the tax rolls. That's being a real American entrepreneur. That thinking got them a 45-bedroom weekend home up state it has a candlelit chandelier in the bathroom and transparent plumbing so you can eat 100 dollars bills 
Shit them out and watch your car car creation as it departs on its journey. Their religion is money. And they are the Pope, the Chief Rabbi, and a serious Ayatollah all rolled into one. Fabulous. Their shit doesn't stink. And little baby Jill has got her own bedroom in this palatial palace that's carved out of ivory with murals of erotic versions of fairy tales hand-painted by celebrity artist Simon and Nigel. That's how the rich live, with pictures of Little Red Riding Hood taking it in the can from the Big Bad Wolf. Let's take a break while we ponder how all the middle class is just like Red Riding Hood. When we come back, Algonquin's hottest playboy discusses how he spends his money on worthless shit. I shit the bed Got so drunk I gave a dude head Life is just a merciful blur When you pop a piss wasser Piss wasser, don't drink it slow 3 a.m. the bath's on low Sleep in the bathroom on the floor What really matters anymore All the crap you do all day Who fucking cares anyway? This is beer Drive drunk on the beer Piss water, drink all day It helps your trouble go away yeah, yeah. Piss water, cheap German lager for export only Next week, don't miss the CMT reality show Conjoined Twins, a hot night out This is CMT Welcome back to I'm Rich, the show about rich people that has the production values of a local cable access show. That's because we have to churn this shit out in mass. Luckily, people are stupid enough to watch it. Speaking of churning it out or bopping your baloney on the face of humanity, here's another vacuous rich person we're going to promote for reasons that are entirely beyond anyone's understanding. It's top Algonquin playboy, Tony McTony. TMT is like TNT. This fast-living, fast-fused, but vertically challenged bachelor and Internet 2.0 millionaire has agreed to talk to us about what being rich is all about to him. Uh, since I became really rich, my life is incredible. I got a place with a glass floor so I can take it up some skirts with a special camera and a glass elevator that got a glass jacuzzi in it and I ride up and down for hours. You know what? I'm gonna rub your nose in it. I gone from nerd to hot. Quicker than you could say, $750 million in stock ops. Tony's place in Los Santos is legendary. Tony may only be five foot tall, but what he lacks in stature, he more than makes up for in sports cars. Why have one luxury Italian Inferno sports car when you can have two? And why have two when you can have 15? All exactly the same. Each one has monogrammed seats with the special Tony McTony logo. Since I became rich, I realized I needed a logo. So I got the best logo designer to make me one. It cost 15 million just to have it created. The silk thread was shit out by a Trappist monk. It's a yellow M done in an arch on a red background. You've never seen anything like it, people. My towels, my condoms, my gold rim jobs, all of it with the Tony McTony logo. Bitches loving niche. Tony also hires women to sit cross-legged and topless in leather pants in bird cages hung from his ceiling. And they meditate so people really realize just how rich he is. Now I get laid all of the time, which is great because I was a virgin up until about six months ago. Tony spends his weekends powerboating up the Humboldt alongside Algon Quinn while he gets his special platform shoes hand-built by Eskimos out of Moon Rock. He likes to get back at the kids who beat him up in school by buying the companies where they're employed and sacking them. Hey, I'm not bitter. I'm just a tiny guy with a lot of cash. Next up, we've got Alfonso Vasquez. This guy's rich, and he's got a seriously hot daughter that he's got to have trouble keeping his hands off of. And wow, is his wife a bitch. She took half his money, just like a slut will. But that half, he doesn't even need, because money rolls in so fast, he has snow shovels to pick it up. Alfonso keeps his daughter January Natasha Vasquez dripping in diamonds. She says she's even got her labia beautifully baroque with an enormous 
seven carat stone. She's a role model and knows it, showing girls exactly where their vaginas can take them if they try hard enough. But being this wealthy totally has a downside, though. See, she's terrified of trees and afraid that elves will abduct her and have their way with her. And she's never even had to learn to read or chew. It's so awesome. In her world, nothing is impossible except humility and basic spelling, especially when a manservant chews your food and spits it into your mouth. Private jets, fleets of $300,000 sports cars, waterfall waterbeds, plus they've got a plasma TV in the toilet bowl to watch your favorite shows while you're making yourself throw up an $800 meal. That's what being rich is all about. It doesn't get any better than this. If heaven exists, it won't be this good. Coming up next, boats, yachts, and twats. It's the decadence that you dream of, and it's only on I'm Rich. This is CNT. My name is Stephanie Pearson. I tried dating, but it mostly ended in me just getting desperate and blowing homeless guys. Then I met Nathan on LoveMe.net. We totally hit it off. Then he slit my throat and killed himself. Now we'll be together forever. Thanks, Love Me. Meet the man, woman, or beast of your dreams. Meeting someone is as easy as logging on, paying for a lifetime subscription, and receiving emails from the worst dregs of society you always feared were out there. LoveMe.net. Welcome back to I'm Rich. In this section, we've got an in-depth investigation into corruption and scandal in the charity industry, alongside a report from the front line of poverty in our own country and how bent politicians are wasting the money you give them. <laughs> Only joking. Who cares about tales of woe when we've got tales of wow? We're going to talk about wealthy people like they are in any way interesting. And we'll point out how pathetic your life is because you don't have emerald encrusted toilet paper or a pet dragon that shits pizza. That's amore. Speaking of shit. <laughs> Liberty City has taken decadence to a whole new level recently, officially becoming the world's capital of stupid money when five generations of inbreeding created a wasp icon so drunk with fame and wealth he doesn't even know his own name. Lyle Cleethorpe V's ancestors made their fortune selling tobacco and slaves, both of which are good. But the Emancipation Proclamation didn't get his family down. They import all their labor from Mexico for pennies, making him mega ultra party time rich. He spends his time sleeping with models whose shoulder blades could cut paper, holding court at the fanciest clubs in town, such as the legendary celeb hangout Maisonette 9, and driving sports bikes while high on drugs. It's the American dream. He's talentless, pointless, and tedious. And we're talking about him because advertisers will pay for spots on this show. Let's think about that for a second. There. A quick reflection is good. Now, let's get on with our lives. Stay jealous, people. I know I will. It's the decadence that you dream of. And it's only on I'm Rich. I'm Rich is brought to you by Crepia, budget lifestyle solutions made from particle board. Rimmer sunglasses, sight for sore eyes. Al Dentes, all the mamma mia you can eat. Trackify Wireless, keep tabs on the ones you love. Big Log Cereal, who doesn't love big logs in the morning? Wife Beater Gin, the way to relax when you want her to shut the fuck up and let you watch TV. Bean Machine Coffee. Chihuahua hot dogs. Try beating our meat. Promotional consideration and advertising breaks brought to you by Adios Air. Say your goodbyes. Lax to the max. Get flowing again. Alpha Male. The Postal Evolution. The Alco Patch. It's the same refreshing feeling of your favorite drink, but delivered transdermally and discreetly. Fanny Crabs Bar and Grill. You'll love the taste of our Fanny Crabs. Support for the sponsor listing portion of the show brought to you by 24-7 Convenience Stores. Where else are you going to buy a six-pack condoms and cigarettes when you're high at 3 in the morning? Burger Shot. Kill your hunger. It's bleeding tasty. Nochi, because Italians are known for their watches. 
Rusty Brown's Ring Donuts, Max Renda Cosmetics, and Wigwam Burger. No need for reservations. Closed captioning for the hearing impaired brought to you by Pirate Music Stores, who invite you to hear the future of music, and Tinkle Wireless. Tinkle everywhere. Tinkle in your ear. And Eugenics Incorporated. Call Eugenics Incorporated, where morality is none of our business. Get ready to laugh your guts out. The comedy, Drunk Daddy and the Door, returns in two weeks. You're on CNT. Do you ever fucking go to bed? <laughs> Think that'll get into her pants? No way. You need something classy. Super classy. Super classy touch limo. Prestige can be purchased and even rented by the hour. Feel like a player or a rich executive who just got a bonus for laying off 10,000 employees. Get exotic. Our limos feature hot tubs, pool tables, pizza ovens, leopard skin, firing ranges, flat surfaces for laying out rails, and jungle swings all on wheels. Super classy. Nail that prom date personal assistant or grieving widow in style. Contact Super Classy Touch Limo today. You're on CNT, the best in comedy, news, drama, and paid programming. Up next, don't miss a chance to find the knife of your dreams on the serrated edge. You're watching CNT. Stopping global warming has finally gotten cool. Street style meets environmental concern with this seriously bad, morally good, fully customizable luxury VIP style hybrid sedan. The Karen Dilettante. The top hybrid sedan in its class. That's because it's the only hybrid in its class. Expensive, but the earth is worth it. She'll swoon at your low exhaust emissions and maybe let you do a bit of exploring of her exhaust too. Plus, chicks love electric gadgets. The Karen Dilettante is fully customizable. If you understand real bliss, you can make it run on expensive champagne and fine cigars or customize the trunk with a composting area. Unlike our fuel supply, the options are endless. Low emissions plus hot style equals the ride of the streets. Save the planet for only $39,999. The Karen Dilettante. Bad plus good equals better for everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Serrated Edge. I am Estelle Graham. And I am Luther Austin. That's right, we're the number one rated knife blade, ceremonial sword, and other cutting device infomercial in the nation right now. If you're the kind of person who values efficiency in the kitchen, confidence in camping, and the ability to take a hostage at any time, the Serrated Edge is for you. I tell my kids, you can never have enough knives around the house. And boy, do we have some gorgeous knives for you tonight. I want to hold every one of these babies, touch them close to my skin all naked like. Item number 1776 is premium, premium collection coming your way. 14 premium knives. First, the bully. Mirror polished stainless German stainless blade. Why, German? Well, that's where we got it from. I tell you, I could take that knife, crawl out of the mirror black ocean, and slit a Serbian's throat just like a Navy SEAL. On the handle, remember Pearl Harbor? It's a gorgeous knife right there. Like someone spent hours just honing and sharpening and letting the heat turn into craftsmanship. It's beautiful. You'll also get in this collection the Lonely Wolf Combat Style Knife with Extreme Satin Finish. Fits your hand perfectly. I used this knife yesterday. I cut a tree down to the size of a baseball bat. This is one of my personal favorites. The more I use it, the more I want to find stuff to cut. Usually I start with my arm. Little cuts. Uh, try and forget. Easy, Luther. But we can't forget this set is an $8,000 value. Now, you get the entire set under $100 by a nickel, $99.95. You are an idiot if you don't order. Like an inbred baby, your head rolling around on your shoulder, tongue hanging out. Yeah, nobody likes an inbred baby. Real pain to get rid of. On the line, we have Kevin. 
Hey, guys, I love the show. Hey, Kevin, did you pick up this set yet? I sure did. I'm going to give the commando knife to my daughter. The British commando style. High-grade surgical steel carbonized finish 23-inch assault blade. Cuts through skin, bones, innards. Sometimes you get stuck in a snowstorm. You got to eat people. This knife is like an emergency survival kit. Being prepared is the name of the game, especially when the terrorists show up. You know, that knife, it just screams freedom. I love the saw on the back. That's a really nice feature. One time I got pinned under a car, and I had to save myself by sawing off a limb. I don't miss it at all. I love cutting things. And it's laser etched. We will etch your name on there. Patty Sue, Bobby Joe, Shit Dick, whatever you want. There you go. Estelle, you've gone truly crazy with this, sir. I'm gonna cut somebody. <laughs> One minute left. I will not be coming back to this set. Someone else is gonna get your knife, and you might meet them in an alley someday. Stick you in the gut. Your innards all over the street. Scream out my name. Damn you, Estelle. You was right. I should have bought that set. And it will echo across the city, and a flock of birds will scatter toward the brooding sky, and little girls will cry. I can't see how you could pass this set up. I can't fathom it. Don't be an idiot. Okay. This knife here is a half Whittler extreme. You can sharpen a stick, hide up in the trees, wait for something to come by, jump down and stick it in his throat, grab him squarely by the gonads, look him in the eyes, say, it's your last day on Earth, son. Prepare to meet your maker. Tell him Estelle sent you. Yeah! Wow! You also get the trapper knife, great for field dressing a sea otter or a cheetah. Or you could slightly slip it somebody in. Somebody answer the goddamn phone? What the hell are you doing back there? I'm gonna cut somebody. Um, and uh, this one here, the Tanto blade. Good for heavy duty stabbing cuts. You can hide it in your boot. That's right. Your captors got you holed up in a Mexican prison. You say, hey, amigo, can I get a cigarette? He says. See, and then you say, I gotta tie my boot. And then you come up and stab a fool in the neck and watch the lifeblood drain out of him in horrified surprise. You can't pass up this collection. Fourteen knives carry several at once. Time is a running out. Let's go over here. We're gonna go over to the sword collection. Item 1863, 19 swords, first a double key, Tana. Similar to what you see in a movie. This is a genuine reproduction samurai sword. Steel blades. You carry these on your back to sporting events or dates. It's about being a warrior. Sixth century Japan. Magistrate comes through for the taxes. You whip this shit out and say, Take that, you mongol son of a bitch! Ten swords! Our most incredible sword deal of all time! This is a historical moment, not a sales pitch. You are making an investment in your family's future. Order now! It is a well-known fact that among successful millionaires, that swords appreciate more in value than real estate or stocks. And you're going to receive two of these! The El Cid Calvary Sword, Good for plundering for personal gain, patriotic motives, or when fighting the Moors. Those Moors are terrible. Don't get me started on the Moors. You'll also get the Three Musketeer Deluxe. This is brand new. Perfect for a fiery duel or fighting off peasants wielding farm implements. This collection, they shouldn't allow me to sell these swords. I, I, I should be locked up. But just try it. Ain't nobody gonna take me down there. Whoa, whoa, hold up now, girl. Guys, you're paying less than $10 for each sword. So if one gets seized at security, you got a second one. You get the Katana, you get the El Cid, you get the Tanto. Look at this jeweled beauty. It's good to have jewels on the handle. 
It distracts people, shows a bit of real class. This sword here, this is called the King Maker Supreme Three. It's our very own Excalibur, true sword of honor. Now, you know, honey, there isn't much honor left in this world. People steal your car, take your wife. They'll cornhole you if you ain't careful. Ain't that the truth? Now, you also get this knife called the Raven X. All right, Rachel is on the line. Hi, Estelle. I want you to know that I ordered the 50-inch whalebone sword of Solomon. That thing's ruling. I'm totally going to kill that bitch cheerleader. Oh, honey, that's a beauty. Good girl. Religious swords have extra power, and we have this one blessed by a voodoo priest. I tell you, I get carried away with all these deals. Oh, this is a luxury. Hot, sexy luxury like rich people have. Incredible value. You, you can't buy people for this much money. And I've tried. Are you picking up the Kingdom of Heaven collection? I sure am. As soon as I get it, I'm terminating a pregnancy. If you find a better prize anywhere on the 19-piece ornate ceremonial sword collection, I'll eat crow. You'll also get this. The Gladiator 9. It's the ninth adoration of the popular Gladius, inspired by ancient Roman orgies. Its short stabbing motions are excellent in close quarter combat. This is old ancient world style Damascus steel. There are four kings of the beast happily mating on the handle. Woo! Woo! Look at the eyes of the lion done in gold on the handle. That's the last thing people will see. And this is the last you'll see of this collection. $99.95. Order now, honey. 19 ceremonial and historical sword collection. Oh, Luther, they gonna get spoiled. Ha! 